Okay, so this is Bonnie. Here it comes. She is my little <clears throat> vegetarian. Almost there. Okay. Now, no, 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 don't eat that. No, no, no. Your pick one. No, no, no. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, non-binary, binary, binary uh, all colors of the f rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, They're in a cult. They're in a cult. It's it's got all. I mean, Mark Andreessen, who's a brilliant venture capitalist guy, explained it to me in in, in very clear terms. Like what the definition of a cult is, how you can get excommunicated, how you get shamed for having differing opinions, the group think, the whole, he's like, it's a cult. And he's right, he's yeah. 100% right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just hard to say because then people in the cult will attack you. But they're not attacking you for a reasonable, it's not logical, yeah. like the way they're attacking you. They're attacking you like someone attacks religious beliefs. Yeah. And some of these religious beliefs sort of get, it gets into these weird gray areas, like like trans people in women's bathrooms. Like, says who? Yeah. Says who? How do you know that's a real trans person? How do you not know that's a f***ing creep that wants to pull his dick out in front of kids? Yes, those are real. We and spa. You, yeah, and, and if all you, that guy was a convicted uh, sex offender. Yeah. Yeah, and he was doing that. Look, those guys are real. It doesn't mean trans people aren't real also, but those guys are f real yeah and to even say that those guys are real you get excommunicated you yeah. get treated like you're a nazi <laughs> and hey 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 what he probably you, do, not get, what? do not get up in my face like this you don't want you do not well, we want can't to talk man to man? man we can't talk I don't, man? I don't think that's possible that's not possible Why? i don't think it's possible because Why? there's only one man standing in this aisle right now now and sit me. down little miss and it's before me, i go ahead and like get child. i'm gonna go ahead and get tsa to come on this plane and haul you off you want to make that big of a show why would they haul me off you want to make that because, because you're male? not confirming the document that i have you don't want to identify me as such uh the government chose what to identify you when you were born in a hospital they wrote m or f next to your birth certificate okay that is my that, life that was dictated by a power much greater than mine and i don't feel that way a higher power than me i'm not the authority i'm a man i'm not the authority that assigned you you need to get up out of his face she needs to get up out of his face he i agree thank you sir if you continue this display if you continue this display if you cannot confirm what my docket says here that there are in fact two ladies sitting in this aisle there is one i'm sorry you're gonna have to leave correct there is one lady You're gonna have and to one man. Well, that's not what it says I need in these seats in order to fly. He would probably be so if you're going to continue to fight the facts that I'm looking at right here, then I'm going to have to haul yeah. you off because you could be a dangerous person. We don't know. We a have no way of confirming person. Because this. I identify as a because male. Because you're not because the person on my list. You're not because the person I am on my list. a man? It's a simple in one of two answers. Are you mad because I'm no more man than you? There's no gray zone. Is that what you're mad about? Is it really that big of a deal? You, you, you want to get up in my face right about? now? I don't need mm -hmm. this job. Look, you you, you want to play oh, big enough, man? Oh, you don't need this job? You want to play Let's big enough, man? All right. Look. <laughs> oh. What? No, you know don't what? don't lose your job. 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 You're better than that. Don't lose your job. Identify me. Sit down, ma'am. Because in court, in court, that's not going to be in court. That's not going to be a man. Don't lose your job. Don't lose your job, brother. Don't lose it. That's a good point. In court, that's not a man. This guy obviously doesn't care what this person identifies as on a personal level. He's just trying to do his job. And your document says woman. That's what he's got down on his paperwork or whatever it is. And you refuse to acknowledge the truth. For what? Just shut up. Tell him, yeah, I'm a woman, which everybody can see. So why don't you just confirm it? And then you can get on with your flight. Do you really think you're going to argue your way out of this one? And they're going to be like, okay, no, this is the airlines. They do not play. If you act up, you're going to get dragged off the plane. And shout out to the other guy who said it's not worth it. In court, that's a woman. Facts. Ma'am. He don't assume my gender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't assume your gender. What are your pronouns then? Zay and Z and Princess. Princess? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn. How long have you been a liberal? Uh probably five to six years maybe. And you were a conservative prior to becoming a liberal? Very much. And what made you become a liberal? I got a little older, a little smarter. Oh, you grew out of it, yeah. And you were tired of being a man? Uh, I was tired of being an <laughs> idiot, but... <laughs> you, so you woke up one day, you know what, I'm tired of being a man. I want to be a liberal. I think there are plenty of men that are liberal. Not real men. You really think so? Men who are liberals are betas! A little bit of, of, of why you believe fighting for transgender athletes to compete in the categories they'd like to in sport is so important. This issue, people like to say that it's a complicated issue, and I don't actually think it is. I think it's very simple. It all boils down to... Do you actually think 
that trans women and intersex women are real women. Fuck no baby. <laughs> and are really female mm -hmm. or not. And if you do, it's very simple. Just stop policing who counts as a real woman. It's so simple. You just need to believe that I'm a woman, even though you know I'm not. Just believe it. By the way, nobody in the whole world actually thinks this person is a woman. Even the people who pretend that they believe this person is a woman. If there was a lie detector test and I said, do you believe this is a woman? And they said yes. The lie detector results would say bullshit. Because who gets singled out for scrutiny is based on white women's conceptions of femininity. And that's being weaponized against trans people too. So it's a fear of protecting the fragile, weak, cis, white woman from the rest of us. So, so... There are many who, who born biologically women who will say, but you have an unnatural advantage over me and that makes the sport unfair. How do, you, how do you respond to that? Yeah, there's lots of ways you can respond to that. So the first is the, the very language of you were born and I'm not biological somehow, like I don't think I'm a cyborg. So like this idea that like, oh, you're not a biological woman. Well, I am a woman, that's a fact. I am female, so all my identity records, my racing license, my medical records all say female, mm -hmm. right? And I'm pretty sure I made a biological stop. So I'm a biological female mm -hmm. as well. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. So you started off by saying, yeah, there's loads of ways you can answer that. And that's what you came up with. Well, my documents, they say that I'm a, I'm a woman <laughs> and I'm made of biological stuff. So I must be a biological woman. It's almost like a normal person saying, I want to compete in the Paralympics and you let them do it just because they say they're disabled. Not really. I Lincoln, Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? Okay, so if you don't know what that's about, that was about Lincoln Riley, the 22-year-old nursing student who was killed last month on February the 22nd by an illegal immigrant. And that lady in the crowd was saying to Joe Biden, say her name. Anyway, then he went on to say about how many people are killed by illegals. And of course, the left was more outraged by the fact that he called the murderer an illegal. So check this out. Look of surprise on your face when you walked into the chamber and you saw Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Um, it was priceless. You feigned shock at, at seeing her. But during your response to her heckling of you, you used the word illegal when talking about the man who allegedly killed um, uh, Lake and Riley. An undocumented person. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any 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 of these people with disrespect. So you're apologizing to the criminal who came into the country illegally and committed a murder against a US citizen who was born there. And you didn't apologize for the fact that you let him in. No, you're apologizing that you called him an illegal immigrant when you should have called him undocumented. So you're more concerned that the murderer is not offended. I just, I just can't imagine how the mother of the victim must feel after hearing that. Like it's actually disgusting. I almost walked out today. <laughs> And I'm crying in the back room right now, and I must cut on the floor. It's just, I'm like three and a half hours into my shift. There's so many customers, and we have four people on the floor all day. <laughs> Only five people were put on the schedule, and somebody had to call out. And there are four people running the whole store, and there's so many customers, and there's possibly scheduled five people. <laughs> We only have 13 people employed at this store, and there's so many customers. I'm like, like a... And then people are yelling at me because they don't have their orders ready. And they don't know what to do. <laughs> and a customer was misgendering me tonight, like, really badly. I didn't have their order ready. And so they were just, like, talking, talking to each other. And they're like, she's clearly incompetent. I have a full mustache and beard. <laughs> What the fuck? Good rule of thumb, if they don't immediately tell you who the shooter is, he's not a white male. Super bullshit. We have we some idea. What? If it were a white man shooting 
we'd know. Well, we don't know. But they, I mean, they That's how we know it's not a white man, I can tell you that much. Do you think they're, they're repressing that reporting? They wouldn't tell us about the um, transgender woman that shot up the Christian school for what, like a year? Um, oh, San Bernardino out here. Remember the crazy terrorist Muslims? I, that's when I first noticed, hmm, they're not telling us who it is. I, it's not a white male. The longer they go without telling you, it's not a white male. Okay. You just don't believe that my dog's a vegetarian, so I have this set up right now. For you guys to see, we have this really gross, it's like a beef, like dog food. And then I have this delicious green salad. So I'm gonna bring her out and we're gonna see which one she likes. Also, my dog is very healthy. She loves greens, she loves her salad, and I don't force her to eat her salad. It's what she likes. Wait for it. Wait, okay. Okay, so this is Bonnie. Here it comes. She is my little <clears throat> vegetarian. Almost there. Okay, now, no, 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 don't eat that. No, 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 eat that salad. Look, salad. <laughs> This is like the same as when we see them delusional parents and they have a four-year-old and they say, oh yeah, my four-year-old is actually um, non-binary. No, the fuck, they're not. This is the same thing. This person here has a lifestyle choice, whatever, that's your choice, that's great, but you're now pushing it onto an animal. And these people say they're against animal cruelty. I'm pretty sure that's cruel if you have a dog who pretty much need to eat meat and you're just saying, nope, you're not going to eat meat, you're going to eat what I want you to eat. It's a dog, it's not even a human. They want to eat meat. They say, oh yeah, no, they want to eat that. No, they don't. They've just got no fucking choice because that's all you're giving it. Honestly, these people are delusional and uh, that's enough of that shit today. So if you got this final video, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And yeah, thanks for all the support. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.